The regions of ancient Greece were areas identified by the ancient Greeks as geographical subdivisions of the Hellenic world. These regions are described in the works of ancient historians and geographers, and in the legends and myths of the ancient Greeks. Conceptually, there is no clear theme to the structure of these regions. Some, particularly in the Peloponnese, can be seen primarily as distinct geophysical units, defined by physical boundaries such as mountain ranges and rivers. These regions retained their identity, even when the identity of the people living there changed during the Greek Dark Ages or at least, was conceived by the Greeks to have changed. Conversely, the division of central Greece between Boeotia, Phocis, Doris and the three parts of Locris, cannot be understood as a logical division by physical boundaries, and instead seems to follow ancient tribal divisions. Nevertheless, these regions also survived the upheaval of the Greek Dark Ages, showing that they had acquired less political connotations. Outside the Peloponnese and central Greece, geographical divisions and identities did change over time suggesting a closer connection with tribal identity. Over time however, all the regions also acquired geopolitical meanings, and political bodies uniting the cities of a region such as the Arcadian League became common in the classical period. These traditional subdivisions of Greece form the basis for the modern system of regional units of Greece. However, there are important differences, with many of the smaller ancient regions not represented in the current system. To fully understand the ancient history of Greece therefore requires more detailed description of the ancient regions. Topic. Central Greece Continental Greece Greek, Steria Elata or Shersos Hellas was and still is, a geographic region of Greece. In English the area is usually called Central Greece, but the equivalent Greek term, Kentrike Elata Kentriki Elata is more rarely used. Akarnania Akarnania, Greek, Akarnania is a region of west-central Greece that lies along the Ionian Sea, west of Aetolia, with the Achelous River for a boundary, and north of the Gulf of Caledon, which is the entrance to the Gulf of Corinth. Today it forms the western part of the regional unit of Aetolia Akarnania. The capital and principal city in ancient times was Stratus. The north side of Akarnania of the Corinthian Gulf was considered part of the region of Epirus. Akarnania's foundation in Greek mythology was traditionally ascribed to Akarnan, son of Alcmaeon. Inyania Inyania Greek, Aenyania or Aenis Greek, Aenis was a small district to the south of Thessaly which it was sometimes considered part of. The regions of Inyania and Edaea were closely linked, both occupying the valley of the Spercios River, with Inyania occupying the lower ground to the north, and Edaea the higher ground south of the river. The boundaries of these two regions were formed by the arc of high ground running west from Mount Oeta round to Mount Timphristus, then north round to the headwaters of Spercios, and then east to the western spur of Mount Utheres. The lowland border in the Spercios Valley with Malis ran approximately north-south along from Oeta to the western spur of Utheres. During the Archaic and Classical periods, the Aenyanians in Greek Aenians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and shared two votes on the Amphictyonic Council with the Aetians. Aetolia <laughs> The Achelous River separates Aetolia Greek, Aetolia from Akarnania to the west, on the north it had boundaries with Epirus and Thessaly, on the east with the Ozolian Locrians, and on the south the entrance to the Corinthian Gulf defined the limits of Aetolia. In classical times Aetolia comprised two parts, Old Aetolia in the west, from the Achelous to the Evenus and Caledon, and New Aetolia or acquired Aetolia in the east, from the Evenus and Caledon to the Ozolian Locrians. The country has a level and fruitful coastal region, but an unproductive and mountainous interior. The mountains contained many wild beasts, and acquired fame in Greek mythology as the scene of the hunt for the Caledonian boar. Apparentia Ancient Apparentia Greek, Apparentia was a small region of Aetolia, south of Dolopia. Attica The name of Attica Greek, Attique was said to be derived from Athis, daughter of Kranaus, who was said to have been the second king of Athens. 
Attica is bounded on the east by the Aegean Sea, on the west by Megaris and the Saronic Gulf and on the north by Boeotia. It is separated from Boeotia by a range of mountains. In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Atticans were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and shared the two Ionian votes on the Amphictyonic Council with the Eubians. Boeotia The region of Boeotia Greek, Boeotia along with many of the cities that existed there in the Classical period, is described in the "'Catalogue of Ships' in the Iliad. In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Boeotians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and had two votes on the Amphictyonic Council. Dolopia Dolopia, Greek, Dolopia was a mountainous region of Greece, located north of Aetolia. The Dolopians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and shared two votes on the Amphictyonic Council with the Pereboi. Doris In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Dorians Greek, Dorius region, Doris were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and shared the two Dorian votes on the Amphictyonic Council with the Laconian Dorians. Euboea In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Eubians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and shared the two Ionian votes on the Amphictyonic Council with the Athenians. Locris The region of Locris, primarily the eastern part, that dwell over against sacred Euboea, is described in the Iliad. In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Locrians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and had two votes on the Amphictyonic Council. Mollies <laughs> In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Malians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and had two votes on the Amphictyonic Council. Megaris Megaris, ancient Greek, Megaris was a small but populous state and region of ancient Greece, west of Attica and north of Corinthia, whose inhabitants were adventurous seafarers, credited with deceitful propensities. The capital, Megara, famous for white marble and fine clay, was the birthplace of Euclid. Mount Geranea dominates the center of the region. <inaudible> Etaea Etaea was a small upland district located south of Thessaly of which it was sometimes considered part. It was closely linked with the district of Enyania, sharing a location in the valley of the Spercios see above. The Edians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and shared two votes on the Amphictyonic Council with the Enians. Phocis The region of Phocis, along with some of the cities that existed there in the Classical period, is described in the Iliad. In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Phocians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and had two votes on the Amphictyonic Council, until they were stripped of them after the Third Sacred War. <laughs> Peloponnese The Peloponnese or Peloponnesos, is a large peninsula at the southern tip of the Balkans, and part of the traditional heartland of Greece. It is joined to the Greek mainland by the Isthmus of Corinth. The Peloponnese is conventionally divided into seven regions, which remain in use as regional units of modern Greece. Most of these regions are directly named in the Catalogue of Ships in the Iliad, suggesting that this geographic division of the Peloponnese is very ancient, and stretches back to Mycenaean Greece. <laughs> Achaea Geographically, Achaea was and is the northernmost region of the Peloponnese, occupying the coastal strip north of Arcadia. To the south, it bordered Arcadia along the ridge of high ground running from Mount Arimanthos to Mount Silene. To the east, it bordered Corinthia near to the city of Sicyon, and to the west the Larissos River and western ridge of Arimanthos formed the border with Elis. Apart from the plain around Dime, to the west, Achaea was generally a mountainous region. Arcadia 
Geographically, ancient Arcadia occupied the highlands at the center of the Peloponnese. To the north, it bordered Achaea along the ridge of high ground running from Mount Arimanthos to Mount Silene. Most of Mount Aroania lay within Arcadia. To the east, it had borders with Argolis and Corinthia along the ridge of high ground running from Mount Silene round to Mount Oligertus and then south Mount Parthenius. To the south, the border Laconia and Messenia ran through the foothills of the Parnon and Tegetos mountain ranges, such that Arcadia contained all the headwaters of the Alfios River, but none of the Eurotas River. To the southwest, the border with Messania ran along the tops of Mount Nomia, and Mount Elium, and from there the border with Elis ran along the valleys of the Arimanthos and Diagon rivers. Most of the region of Arcadia was mountainous, apart from the plains around Tegea and Megalopolis, and the valleys of the Alfios and Leyden rivers. Due to its remote, mountainous character, Arcadia seems to have been a cultural refuge. When, during the Greek Dark Age, Doric Greek dialects were introduced to the Peloponnese, the older language apparently survived in Arcadia, and formed part of the Arcado Cypriot group of Greek languages. Herodotus says that the inhabitants of Arcadia were Pelasgians, the Greek name for the supposed indigenous inhabitants of Greece, who dwelt there before the arrival of the Hellenic tribes. Whilst Herodotus seems to have found the idea that the Pelasgians were not Greek far-fetched, it is clear that the Arcadians were considered as the original inhabitants of the region. Arcadia is one of the regions described in the Catalogue of Ships in the Iliad. Agamemnon himself gave Arcadia the ships for the Trojan War because Arcadia did not have a navy. There is a modern regional unit of Greece of the same name, which is more extensive than the ancient region. Topic. Argolis Ancient Argolis sometimes called the Argolid occupied the eastern part of the Peloponnesus, primarily the Argolid Peninsula, together with the coastal region to the east of Arcadia, and north of Laconia. To the north, the boundary with the territory of Corinth was rather more fluid, and these territories have sometimes been considered together. For instance, Pausanias discussed Argolis and Corinthia together in one book of his description of Greece. Similarly, in modern Greece, a prefecture of Argolida Corinthia has existed at various times. Argolis took its name from the principal city of the region during the Archaic and Classical periods, Argos. Argolis is discussed in the Catalogue of Ships of the Iliad, without being given that explicit name, but the major cities of the region are listed together under the leadership of Diomedes. There is a modern regional unit of Greece of the same name, occupying a smaller area than the ancient region. Corinthia The territory associated with the city of ancient Corinth in ancient Greece lay on either side of the Isthmus of Corinth. On the northern side of the Isthmus, it was bounded by Mount Geraneia, which separated it from Megaris. On the Peloponnesian side of the Isthmus, Corinthia was bounded by Achaea to the west, and to the south by the territory of Argolis. As discussed above, the boundary between Argolis and Corinthia was rather fluid, and in both ancient and modern times, the regions have been considered together. Corinthia is discussed in the Catalogue of Ships of the Iliad, without being given that explicit name, but the major cities of the region are listed together under the leadership of Agamemnon. There is a modern regional unit of Greece of the same name. Topic: Elis. Elis occupied the western and flattest part of the Peloponnese. To the northeast, it bordered Achaea along the Larissos River and western spur of Arimanthos, and the east the border with Arcadia ran along the Arimanthos and Diagon rivers to Mount Elium. From the Elium, its border with Messenia ran along the Neta River river to the sea. Elis is discussed in the Catalogue of Ships of the Iliad, without being given that explicit name Elis is only used for the name of the city, but the major cities of the region are listed together. There is a modern regional unit of Greece with the same name. Topic. Laconia Laconia also called Lacedaemon, Greek, Lake Daemon, Lake Daemon, occupied the southeastern part of the Peloponnese. Its principal boundaries were formed by the Parnon and Tegetos mountain ranges. Its western boundary, adjoining Messenia, ran along the Kaskarika River from just south of the city of Abia, up into the Tegetos range, and then north along the Tegetos ridge. The northern border with Arcadia ran amongst the foothills of Tegetos and Parnon, such that up Laconia included all the headwaters of the Eurotas River. 
To the northeast of the Parnon Range was the coastal area of Sinuria, this was originally part of the Argolid, but by the Classical period had become part of Laconia. The land between the Taygetos and Parnon ranges formed the heart of Laconia, the coastal region east of Parnon, and south of Sinuria was also part of Laconia. Lastimon is one of the regions described in the Catalogue of Ships in the Iliad. In the Archaic and Classical periods, the Laconians were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and shared the two Dorian votes on the Amphictyonic Council with the Dorians from Doris. There is a modern regional unit of Greece of the same name. During the Classical period, Laconia was dominated by the city of Sparta. There were other settlements in the region, and most inhabitants were not full Spartan citizens Spartiates, but Lacedaemonians or Perioeci, about dwellers. However, all these citizens and towns were part of the Spartan state. Only after the final eclipse of Spartan power after the war against Nabus did the rest of Laconia become free from Spartan domination. However, Laconia instead fell under the domination of the Achaean League until the whole of the Peloponnese was conquered by the Romans in 146 BC. Messenia Messenia occupied the southwestern part of the Peloponnese. To the north it had a border with Elis along the Neda River, from whence the border with Arcadia ran along the tops of Mount Elium and Mount Nomia. The northern border with Arcadia then ran amongst the foothills of Taygetos, but all the headwater of the Alfios River lay outside Messenia. The eastern border with Laconia ran along the Taygetos ridge up to the Koskarika River, and then along that river to the sea, near the city of Abia. There is a modern regional unit of Greece of the same name. Topic: Thessalia. Thessaly or Thessalia was one of the traditional regions of ancient Greece. During the Mycenaean period, Thessaly was known as Aeolia, a name that continued to be used for one of the major tribes of Greece, the Aeolians, and their dialect of Greek, Aeolic. Topic: Achaea Theotis The Theotic Achaeans were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and had two votes on the Amphictyonic Council. Magnesia The Magnets were members of the Delphian Amphictyonic League, and had two votes on the Amphictyonic Council. Histiatis. Pelasgiotis Perebia Perebia was the northernmost district of ancient Thessaly, where the tribe of Perebi lived. Major cities were, Pythian, Dolish, Azorus, Olusin and Phalan of the capital. Perebia was part of Macedonia between 4th and 1st centuries BC. Thessaliotis Topic Epirus Topic Athamania Topic Cheonia Cheonia or Cheon Greek Cheonia or Cheon was the name of the northwestern part of Epirus the homeland of the Greek tribe of the Chaonians Its main town was called Phoenice According to Virgil, Chaon was the eponymous ancestor of the Chaonians. Topic: Dasaretia. Topic: Molossus. The Molossians (Greek: Molossoi translate: Molossoi) were an ancient Greek tribal state that inhabited the region of Epirus since the Mycenaean era. On their northeast frontier, they had the Chaonians and on their southern frontier the kingdom of the Thesprotians, to their north were the Illyrians. Thesprotia Perouaea Perouaea Greek, Perouaea was an ancient Greek region in Epirus. Timphia Macedonia 
Macedonia or Macedon from Greek, Macedonia, Macedonia, was an ancient Greek kingdom and region, centered in the northeastern part of the Greek peninsula, bordered by Epirus to the west, Paeonia to the north, Thrace to the east and Thessaly to the south. Early geographers put River Strymon as the eastern border of Macedonia with Thrace. However, as Kingdom of Macedon was expanding and was pushing east the Thracian tribes, River Nestos was regarded as the eastern border of the region and Sintis, Odomantis and Edenus were included in it. <laughs> Almopia <laughs> Basaltia <laughs> Bataia <laughs> Chalcidus Topic Crestonia Topic Edenus Traditionally part of Thrace but after its annexation by the Kingdom of Macedon it was regarded as part of the region of Macedonia Topic Elamiotis Topic Emathia Topic Ordea Topic Linkistus Topic Migdonia Topic Odomantis Traditionally part of Thrace but after its annexation by the Kingdom of Macedon it was regarded as part of the region of Macedonia. Orestes Pelagonia Pieria Sintes Traditionally part of Thrace but after its annexation by the Kingdom of Macedon it was regarded as part of the region of Macedonia. <laughs> Greek colonies <laughs> <laughs> Magna Graecia <laughs> <laughs> Asia Minor <laughs> 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 Topic Doris Asia Minor Topic Ionia Topic Pontus Topic Cyprus Topic Crimea Topic Cyrenaica Topic References Topic Bibliography Homer, the Iliad Herodotus, the Histories Pausanias, Description of Greece Bunsen, Matthew Encyclopedia of the Roman Empire. New York, Facts on File Inc.